wonderful Wednesday week 40, what, 43? Yes, mundaneness syndrome. This is an important topic because how is it that your livelihood or our livelihood doesn't make us feel alive? It's quite fascinating as I do my own parts work in ecology and transformation, how I realize, you know, we've really been kind of conditioned to believe and experience and like kind of set up to do what others feel is right for us. And then whether it's a year, five years, 10 years of going through the motions, doing what society or what our families feel is right for us and the best interest for us, we look at ourselves in the mirror one day and are like, shit, how did I get here? Like, what can I change? Because when we don't feel alive, we don't feel like we have purpose. And that's just a very simple context, but not a lot of people understand how much that affects your mental and emotional health. And when your mental and emotional health are like all over or just like down here, it makes it really hard to relate or to love or to allow things to come in or to be able to feel gratitude or appreciation. And I'm always saying like attitude of gratitude, what you appreciate appreciates back. So this is seriously, I think a bigger, like it's a simple, oh yeah, mundaneness syndrome. Yeah, I'm going through the motions, I'm living life. But wake up. Aliveness is a choice. The one thing that you have control over is what you choose to focus on. And when you choose to focus on feeling alive or switching things up, that's when your world will open up. You're able to serve from a different place. You're able to accept and allow different things from a different area to come in your life. You're able to experience more, more greater experiences, create more, create more aliveness. So the quote for this week is don't die with your music still in you. You were here to be your authentic self. So when you're not doing that duty and being that person, you're kind of doing all of us a disservice and that's not very nice. So the call to action is to schedule something within the next week that's out of the ordinary. Get out of your box. So whether that is a, an outing with a family or a friend or just by yourself, maybe you need to get out of the box, go for a road trip. Whether that's a tough conversation that you need to have because it's subconsciously causing you a lot of frustration and anger or do an act of gratitude or an expression of love but just get out of your box. Do something that's gonna make you feel alive because that's what you deserve and that's what everyone around you deserves as well. So, thank you for joining me. Have a fantastic holiday weekend and I will see you next week, okay?